Welcome to Efax Tech. My name is Pradeep and today I will show you how to install macOS Big Sur on the separate volume on your current computer. Purpose of this tutorial is to keep the beta version separate than what you are running now so you will not create any trouble to your current system. Before we start, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe my channel so you would not miss any important video. And trust me, it takes a lot of efforts to create these videos. And please like, share this video if it is helpful. So let's start now. I am running macOS Catalina in my computer and I have already downloaded macOS Big Sur. So first of all, we will create a new separate APFS volume where we will install this macOS Big Sur. Always take a backup of your Mac before making any changes. That's a good practice. Now open Disk Utility, click on the drop down on the left top, select Show All Devices. This will show the primary disk and container disk. So click on the Macintosh HD and tap on the plus icon. This will let you add a new volume. Name the volume as you like. The format option, let it be as it is APFS. And then click on Add. Once it's finished, click on done. We don't need to allocate the storage because this will be distributed automatically. So if you see that we have a new volume created, that's I named as a Big Sur. And I'm running this on a Mac OS virtual machine. So the internal disk at the very top shows VMware virtual SATA. So we'll close the disk utility now. Open Finder, go to the applications. I have downloaded the macOS Mixer. Double click on this macOS Mixer. Now click on Agree for the license agreement. Click on Show All Devices. This will show the all disks which we have connected. So click on the volume which we have added. Click on Continue. Type the Mac password to proceed further. This will start the installation and this will take time. I will speed up the video here. Once the installation will finish, it will prompt to restart. So click on restart. After the restart, it will show you the setup wizard. Now we have to select the country. Select your region and click on continue. I'm looking for India. Okay. So I have selected India and tap on continue. On this page, you can click on continue. Tap on not now. This features can be changed later. Click on continue and data and privacy. Click on not now as we are not going to migrate or restore any backup. If you have any Apple ID, you can sign in or you can tap on setup later. Click on skip. Agree to the terms and condition. Click on agree at the top again. We need to create a new user account for this macOS login. So type the user account name and the password and click on continue on this page. I will fast forward the video here and the all options is self-explanatory so you can just follow the on-screen instructions. Once it's complete the Mac setup, you will see your Mac OS Big Sur login. We can type the password and log into that particular account. So if you could see that I'm going to log into my user account which is eFax Tech. I'll show you what version I'm running here. I have downloaded this beta version few weeks back so this is version 11.0 beta 
So we'll close this and I want to show you that how you can switch between your other vo volume and this macOS volume. So for that you have to go to the system preferences, select startup disk. Once it's open, click the padlock and put the Mac password. So this password is for your macOS Big Sur account. Now if you could see the two volumes are showing here, whatever volume you want to switch, select that particular one and click on restart. So this is how you can create a beta version of macOS on a separate APFS volume and this will not impact to your main system or main volume if you, you know, want to do any kind of testing. If you want to switch back to the Big Sur, again open system preferences, go to startup disk, click the padlock, type the Mac password and select the Big Sur disk and click on restart. Thank you for watching this video. If you think this tutorial is helpful, please subscribe my channel and do not forget to like and share. If you have any suggestions or feedback about my channel or for this video, please feel free to mention in that comment box. Thank you.